Hi friends, we are going to start new tutorial series about making a blog website with Code Igniter 4. After watching this tutorials, you will be able to make your own blog using one of the best and lightweight PHP framework that exists in this world. I highly recommend to have a basic skills on PHP and jQuery. Let's starting by installing Code Igniter 4 in our computer. Go to Google and search for Code Igniter. Click on this first link. This is an official website for Code Igniter, the powerful and lightweight PHP framework. Just click on this download button. We will see two ways you can download Code Igniter. First one is to download this from Code Igniter GitHub repository. You can download Code Igniter on this GitHub repo. Click on this releases link. Then click here to download latest release. Once download finished, extract zip file. Put that code igniter inside this htdocs directory. Let's run this downloaded code igniter folder. Open git bash or cmd inside this. To run code igniter, just use php spark serve command. Click on this URL. As you can see, we have fresh Code Igniter 4 project. So, we have seen how to download Code Igniter 4 on Code Igniter GitHub repository. Let's see another way to install Code Igniter by using Composer. Click on this user guide link. We have to use this Composer command to create Code Igniter project. Again, open git bash inside this htdocs directory. And rename your project folder to this. And hit enter. Once installation finished, close this git bash window. Open created project. Open git bash or cmd here. 
run project by entering php spark serve command. As you can see, we have this fresh code igniter 4 project. We are going to see how you can use virtual host in order to navigate URL like this instead of using the default URL. First of all, open and run ZAMP server. Open Notepad as Administrator. Then click on File, Open. C Drive. XAMPP. Apache. Confi Folder. Extra. Change this to All Files. And then open this httpd vhostsconfi file. We are going to add new virtual host for our project. We will use only this two lines. Back to project. And open public folder. And then copy this path. Then paste here. Remember to change all backslashes to slashes. On second line, we have to define our project domain name. Don't forget to save this file. Open Notepad again as administrator. Click File, Open. C Drive. Windows. System 32 Drivers ETC Change this to all files And then open hosts file Add our project domain name here Then save the file. Restart your server. Let's try our new URL. As you can see, we can navigate our project through this URL. We have to change environment to development. Open project to your favorite code editor.
rename this to .env. Uncomment this line and change this value to development. As you can see, we have now development environment mode. Also, uncomment these two variables. Then add this URL to those variables. As you can see, we have this tool. Where you can see how many views your project has, files, routes, events and history. Another very important thing you have to do, is to download offline code igniter user guide. We are going to see how you can get this documentation in your PC. Back to code igniter GitHub repository. Then go to this code igniter profile page. Then open this user guide repo. and download this user guide by clicking on this download button. Once download finished, extract zip file. Good, we have now offline code igniter user guide. See you in next video.